Second Ezra this chapter 16, verse 54 through 56. Behold, the Lord knoweth all the works of men, their imaginations, their thoughts, and their hearts, which spake but the word, let the earth be made, and it was made. Let the heaven be made, and it was created. In his word were the stars made, and he knoweth the number of them. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. I would also like to give a double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for constantly feeding us sheep with this truth day in and day out. I would like to say, the water. Now it's just buying on back again. And through the spirit, uh, I just wanted to get into a few scriptures, you know, in regards to the power of the Lord's word. You know, as you can see with the opening scripture, you know, Second Ezra, this is the 16th chapter. You know, just by the word of the Lord, the earth was made. And also by his word, the stars were made. That's power. You know, and, and, and everything in the 1611 King James Bible, if it, if it hasn't already come to pass, it's going to come to pass. Because the Lord, the Lord's word, it, it's faithful and true. And, and the Lord, you know, he's not a man that he shall lie. Neither the son of man that he shall repent. You know, so through the spirit and power, you have a Bashim, you have a Shai. The first scripture I wanted to get into was the book of Numbers, chapter 23, in verse 19, and it reads, The Most High is not a man that he should lie, neither the Son of Man that he should repent. Had he said, and shall he not do it? Or had he spoken? And shall he not make it good? You know, right. You know, one example, you know, is as far as, you know, us so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You know, when we broke the covenant with our Heavenly Father, you know, it was said that, you know, we will suffer from pestilences. You know, we will suffer from, you know, different type of um, diseases. You know, we'll, we'll be the tail. You know, our enemies will be the head. You know, we'll find no rest, you know, no matter where we go in the earth. You know, and and then that happened. And that's happened until this day. You know? You know, scripture also says um that we would, you know, travel by ship um to Egypt again. Roughly paraphrasing. You know, we'll be bond men and bond women and no one will save us, and you know, no one will buy us. You know, you know, let's just let's just get that. You know, just to prove, you know, that the Lord's word, you know, it's, it's, it's faithful and true, you know. Uh, let's get the, uh, the Deuteronomy 28, I believe it's the last verse in this chapter. Yeah, verse 68 is what I want. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68, and it reads... And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Now, Egypt, Egypt's America, man. You know, look at the back of your dollar bill. If you don't believe me. You know? By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see Salakia. Thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women, transatlantic slave trade. And no man, just to name a few, and no man shall buy you, which buy goes into, you know, uh, redeem, you know, or recover. You know, let's just get that for edification's sake.
Strong's H, 7069. Kana. 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 And it reads, Recover. Redeem. You see? You know, that's why, you know, Malcolm X couldn't save us. Martin Luther King, you know, couldn't save us. You know, Black Panthers, you know. And as far as the other tribes, you know, when they tried to get together and try to, you know, you know, speak against, you know, the monstrosities and, uh, you know, the the the, the, the un, un, unfair, you know, treatment. And you, they tried to get together, you know, and, and none of it worked, you know. Black Black Lives Matter isn't going to work. You know, none of it's going to work because it's, it's none of the will of the Heavenly Father. You know, we're, 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 we're serving, we're serving out our, our judgment. You know, we're, we're under the curses. You know, we're serving out, we're serving out our captivity, you know. And, you know, nothing can, you know, disannul, you know, the Lord's word. You know, it's just that simple. You know, the Lord, his word stands, you know. I mean, we're suffering from these calamities as we speak, man. And it's written in the scriptures that this would be the case, you know, because of because of the transgression of our forefathers. You know, we didn't keep the commandments of our Lord. We broke the covenant, you know. Let's go to... Uh, the book of Baruch. Let's go to chapter 2 and verse 30. For I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff necked people. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. And we are. You know, we are remembering ourselves, you know, the true word of the Bible is going out, you know, through all four corners of the earth, you know, and and the ones that are, you know, meant to get the word, you know, they're getting it and they're being quickened, you know, and they're being converted, you know, returning back to the obedience of the scriptures. You know, we're repenting and turning back. You know, when we heard this word, you know, it's what quickened us. Continuing on. And shall know that I am the Lord, their power, for I will give them a heart, which in the Pele Hebrew, heart translates into your mind. That word would be lab. And ears to hear, you see? The Lord renewed our mind through the word. And they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. And that's what we're doing right now in these latter days. We're thinking upon the Lord's name. You have you have those that want to reject and, re and, and rebuke his name. You know, they're going off. You know, not you know, being ignorant and, and lack of understanding towards the scriptures. You know, the, the Lord's name is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and are safe, man. You know, that name is everything. Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. That's what's going to save us in these latter days. You know, when all hell breaks loose, you know, Lord willing, we're preserved. You know, Lord willing, we're part of that precious elk and we're preserved to see the second coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shai. You know, Lord willing. You know, when we heard this word, you know, and we were quickened. When we heard when we heard the true gospel, you know, being preached. You know, preferably by, you know, the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. You know, it quickened us. You know, which leads me to my next scripture. The book of Hebrews. Yeah. 
the book of Hebrews. The book of Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 12 and it reads For the word of the Most High is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow that's deep you know that's a deep deep cut man and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart yeah that's deep that's deep you know scripture says um a wounded spirit who can bear you know and this word is what wounds you you know we're gonna get that precept we're gonna get that you know um you know, when we first heard this word, you know, we were obviously going off. You know, we weren't right. You know, I'm speaking on behalf of myself. You know, we were, you know, we were malnourished when it came to the truth, when it came to this living water. You know, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't know, we didn't know anything really. You know, we were going off in more ways than one, whether we would, you know, whether it be smoking or, you know, being a drunkard. You know, book of Proverbs, chapter 18, and it reads, book of Proverbs, chapter 18, verse 14, and it reads, the spirit of a man will sustain his affirmity, but a wounded spirit, who can bear? Infirmity goes into, um, so like here. <coughs> Infirmity goes into a physical or mental weakness. You know, so you can you can sustain that. But a wounded spirit, you know, who can bear that? You know, that's unbearable. You know? That's unbearable. But again, the Lord's word stands, you know, because we were cut when we heard this word. We were cut, you know. But again, it corrected us. You know, the Lord's word corrected us. We got cut by it and it corrected us. Because that's what it's meant to do. Book of 2 Timothy, chapter 3, verse 16 reads, All scripture is given by inspiration of the Most High and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. That the man of the Most High may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. You see? And that's what it is, you know, where we're now, we're now, you know, we're moving righteously now. You know, we've returned back to the obedience of the scriptures. You know, we, we keep the laws, statutes, and commandments. You know, to the best of our abilities. You know, we, we keep the high holy days. You know, we're, we're, we're righteous in the Lord's eyes. You know, of course we can't keep all the law, statutes, and commandments. You know, that's that's when that's where Yahweh Shai steps in. You see, being the perfect sacrifice that he was. You see, the book of Isaiah chapter 55 verse 10 and it reads, For as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I sent it. So yeah, you know, I just wanted to bring that out through the Spirit. You know, the Lord's Word, you know, it stands. You know, the Lord's Word stands no matter what. You know, it's, you know, the Lord's, the Lord's Word will not return unto Him void, as I just read in the book of Isaiah. 
You see? The elect is being sailed, you know, slowly but surely. You know, and every day the sun rises and sun sets. The day draws near, closer and closer for the return of our Lord, Yahweh Shai. The Lord willing, we're shown mercy and we're preserved upon the second coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shai. Lord willing, you Akiyam and Akwath were edified. Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai. Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shai, Kal Halal La, Yahawa, Bahashem, Yahawa Shai, Bahashem, Rakha Kwadash, Shalom.